I am Latifat Sadu. I am from Kwara State, Nigeria. I am an embryologist with the University of Ilorin Teaching Hospital, Ilorin, Nigeria. I signed to Ursi Bunda Medic Jakarta for an embryology training as part of the MEC African Embryology Training which is part of the Mac Modern and Mother program to train African embryologists. Infertility is a major reproductive health problem in Africa. The burden of infertility has increased around the world and in Nigeria in particular in recent times as it makes up major cases of consult gynecological consultation in hospitals. In Africa, children are the fabric of any society without which no meaningful social and economic progress is considered worthwhile. In spite of established findings that infertility is a couple problem, it is still largely viewed as a woman problem. As a result of this, the woman bears the larger burden of infertility in Africa. Almost all cultures in Africa lay emphasis on women having children. A marriage without children is actually considered as a failure on the part of the woman. The challenges of infertility in Africa is basically the accessibility and affordability of fertility care services. The number of fertility care centers that are available is not enough to cater for all the population. And as a result, it is not readily accessible to the majority of the population. This Service, uh, fertility service centers basically located in the few major cities and the rural population which constitutes the majority of the population lack access to fertility care services. Even the fertility care centers that are available are not readily affordable by the majority of the population because ART procedures are usually expensive and majority of the population cannot afford there are few embryologists in my country and as a result many service centers invite visiting embryologists which increase the cost and also reduce the quality of individualized ART procedures. MEC Africa Embryology Training Program, an initiative of the MEC More Than a Mother campaign is a laudable project because it's actually building capacity for embryologists and training embryologists is a critical point in fertility care services. Like the regular saying, to whom much is given, much is expected. I intend to pass on this knowledge acquired from here to my country, my colleagues back at home. I intend to domesticate the quality of service that I have learned here to my laboratory. When I get back to my country, I'll be an ambassador for Make More Than a Mother campaign. I will educate and enlighten patients that infertility problem is not just a female issue. The burden is on both couples. The fact that a woman cannot bear a child does not mean she is a lesser woman. She is more than a mother indeed. Make Africa Embryology Training Program beats my expectation, I must say. This is the first program that gives hands on for months with state of the art equipment, with trained personnel, with professionals in the field, with a very conducive environment for learning. Unlike other training programs where it is basically theory and few practicals, like one, two weeks practical. But this is different. From the very first week we got here, we were introduced to the lab. From the andrology lab through sperm analysis, sperm preparation to embryology lab through the cryosciences, vitrification, towing, the laser equipment, assisted hatching, MC, XC, and then even the pre-implantation genetic screening. It is wonderful. It, it, it has been a wonderful experience. I would like to thank AOC and Morula IVF Jakarta for the chance given to facilitate us for this MEC Africa Embryology program. I must say I am a beneficiary of MEC African Embryology training through MEC More Than a Mother initiative and I am very very grateful for that opportunity. It is indeed a golden opportunity. I say a very big thank you to MEC. And when I get back home, 
I'm going to create awareness on Make More Than a Mother campaign to let the infertile women know there's a group that actually supports them, that actually cares for them. That because they are not a mother does not mean they are a less woman. They can be productive, they can lead a productive life and contribute their own quarter to the society at large.